Welcome back everybody to Weather Animations. Today, we look at the 2003 Atlantic hurricane season where 21 tropical depressions formed, 16 of which reached tropical storm status, seven hurricanes, and three unprecedented major hurricane status. In total, there were 93 fatalities from this hurricane season and $4.2 billion in damages. Now, this season lasted rather long. It began before official hurricane season and lasted well beyond the end of hurricane season. And we'll see that as the hurricane season unfolds. Begin this hurricane season with Tropical Storm Anna formed on the 20th of April and lasted to the 24th of April, became a mildly strong tropical storm with peak intensity at 60 miles an hour and a minimum central pressure of 994 millibars. Luckily, Anna did not reach any land and remained out at sea during its entire journey. As it progresses off towards the north and east, it will weaken and become a remnant low. Next is short-lived Tropical Depression 2, followed by Tropical Storm Bill, formed off the Yucatan Peninsula, where it became a tropical storm and reached peak intensity at 60 miles an hour before running into Louisiana. Next up, we have our first hurricane of the season, Claudette, formed on July 8th, lasted until the 17th. It reached a peak intensity at 90 miles an hour, a minimum central pressure of 979 millibars, and tracked through the Caribbean, where it's a short-lived hurricane before running into the Yucatan Peninsula, and after which re-emerging and heading on a course towards southern Texas where it finally regained hurricane status before landfall. Next we have Hurricane Danny, which formed in the open waters of the Atlantic. It was a rather strange storm, uh, peak intensity at 75 miles an hour, making it fairly category one strength, and its minimum central pressure, which is the odd point here, at 1,000 millibars. Very interesting, rather high for a hurricane at that. However, it didn't last very long at hurricane, hurricane status and became a remnant low after just a few days and meandered around for a few more. After which, Tropical Depression 9. And then we had Hurricane Fabian. It was our first major hurricane of the season, reaching peak intensity at 145 miles an hour. Minimum central pressure, 939 millibars. And it didn't make landfall. Great deal there. Beautiful storm, peak intensity, very high and no impact to land, that's the kind of hurricane we like to see. Tropical Storm Grace, which 
formed in the Gulf of Mexico, quickly making landfall in southeastern Texas. After Grace is Tropical Storm Henry, which also formed in the Gulf of Mexico and made a dart for Florida, where it made landfall there as barely a tropical system. It was not a tropical storm at landfall, which is great news there. However, the peak intensity was 60 miles an hour uh, for a short while there. After which, we have Hurricane Isabel, which is the talking point of the 2003 Atlantic hurricane season. It was the strongest storm and the only Category 5 of the season. It formed way out in the open waters of the Atlantic, where it quickly reached hurricane strength, major hurricane strength, and wobbled back and forth between Category 3 and Category 4 strength, before finally reaching Category 5 strength, minimal at that, but still Category 5 strength nonetheless. Peak wind speed, 165 miles an hour. Minimum central pressure, 915 millibars. Obviously the strongest storm of the season, and unfortunately it did make landfall in the Outer Banks of North Carolina before proceeding inland, which we will see here in just a moment. Boom, landfall as barely a Category 2 hurricane. Major impact for the coastline of North Carolina. Next, Tropical Depression 14. Nothing to speak of here because really nothing happened here. After which, Hurricane Juan which formed east and south of Bermuda. It did track towards the east of Bermuda uh, as a hurricane, and it did progress towards the north and run into Nova Scotia, where it was still a hurricane. Next, Hurricane Kate, formed on the 25th of September in the open Atlantic, Lasted quite a while until October 7th as a tropical storm there and was a major hurricane. Did not reach that status for quite some time after its initiation, but the peak wind speed was still 125 miles an hour and a minimum central pressure of 952 millibars. This meandering storm never made landfall, which is, again, great news, especially for a major hurricane that it was. But it was pretty scenic, if you will, in terms of its satellite picture. We'll let this finish up here before we move on to our next story of the season. Here we are with Tropical Storm Larry, which formed in the Caribbean, made a dart towards the west, towards the Yucatan Peninsula, where it was still a tropical depression. After re-emerging out the other side, it finally gained Tropical Storm strength, where it peaked in wind speed at 65 miles an hour, minimum central pressure 993 millibars, where it did dive towards the south into Mexico. Get me out of broken hearts and stubborn fights Turning truth to lies Gotta get up, stop wasting time Yeah, I wanna run off and fly And I'll tell myself it's fine to Next up, we have Tropical Storm Mindy, which started out at Tropical Storm Strength and really didn't do much from there. Peak intensity at 45 miles an hour and no major threat to land. Tropical Storm Nicholas. Almost a hurricane, almost. Peak intensity 70 miles an hour, minimum central pressure 990 millibars. It did slowly organize and build strength over time. However, it wasn't good enough to be a hurricane. Bad story. 
It did meander around for quite some time over the open waters of the Atlantic and never made landfall. So that's, again, great news. But really, really nothing to say about this storm besides it just hung out in the open waters of the Atlantic where it finally died down to tropical depression and stood there for quite some time. Fast forward a couple months and here we are with Tropical Storm Odette, which formed in the Caribbean, which is what you would expect for a very late season storm. Forming on December 4th, peak intensity was only 65 miles an hour. It did make landfall in Hispaniola and it did quickly proceed off towards the north and east as barely a tropical storm. And finally, we have Tropical Storm Peter, which formed way out in the open Atlantic and didn't have any threat to land. Maximum wind speed, 70 miles an hour, and minimum central pressure, 990 millibars. Didn't last very long, only till the 11th of December. And that's it, so I wanna thank you for watching today's video, and I hope you enjoyed. Please do hit the like button if you did like this video and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. I enjoy making these videos and weather's always been a passion of mine, so I hope you stick around and learn more about these hurricane seasons, whether it be record breaking or just run in the mill. Every hurricane season has its own unique storms, patterns, and data. So please stick around for those. Thank you for watching and have a great day.